I'm back, baby. We're going on month three of our quarantine here in California, and I am yearning for a burn, and oh, that's right, I am back on my bullshit about Animal Crossing. Come at me. Misinformation. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Misinformation, the show that's slowly turning into Chris. That's me. Making baseless claims about a virtual duck. If you missed my last video about Bill, that baleful buzzard from Animal Crossing... Bill is not the dumbbell-driven drake you think he is. He is a liar! Hit the i card in the upper right-hand corner so you can get caught up. Because this video is an expansion, a DLC if you will, on the claim that I made at the end of my previous Animal Crossing video. In that video, I argue that Bill is a fraud, and using circumstantial evidence that meets the highest standards of journalistic integrity, I do prove that he's a big fat liar. Lol. But at the end of the video, I make a totally baseless claim. I know. Shocker. I state that the reason Bill is lying so much is that he actually just wants to take over your island after you put in all the work to make it great. Despite making that claim at the end of my last Bill video, I did not provide any evidence to support that. So I felt compelled to make a follow-up video that focuses primarily on that accusation, that Bill is trying to steal your island. Don't take my stuff. Sure, we all know and accept and agree that Bill is a lying snot. I mean, look at this. Whew. There's one good thing about all this unpacking. The soreness I'm gonna feel in the morning. Yeah, Bill, all this unpacking. First off, who needs a broom to unpack some boxes? That is obviously just a prop to convince us that you're actually doing something. And secondly, none of these boxes are unpacked. How are you gonna be sore tomorrow? From sitting on your dumpy duff all night? Okay, whatever. Being untruthful does not make Bill a thief. We need different evidence for that. So what do we got? Where is the evidence to support this notion that Bill wants your island for himself? Let's start with the letters. Bill, he's a nice guy, right? He sends you letters? What a nice thing! It harkens back to a time before, when the word male didn't have an E in front of it. That's nice. It's wistful. It's cute, even. I don't disagree on that point at all. But a written letter is nothing if we do not consider the content of said letter. So let's do that. Consider the fork. All right, I gotta admit, there isn't too much there. But there is a little kernel that reveals itself if you're reading closely. Maybe you haven't gotten it, but in one letter, Bill makes the wild claim that he loves to run around the island. I mean, firstly, does anyone really believe that? Look at him. Look at him. I can tell you right now that Bill has not run in years. But also, why are you going around the island so much? It sounds innocuous, but we know that Bill has no scruples, so what's he really up to? Why would he care about the whole island like that? It's almost as if he's casing the place. Hmm. <laughs> But that's not likely. He wants to steal it for himself, right? So I think he's checking your progress. And then there's the gift giving. Oh, how nice it seems. And you know what it should. After all, you're a mark in one of the best long cons your island has ever seen. Of course this lying Lucy duck is gonna come off like he's doing you a favor. But this is one of the most common tricks in the book. I think it. You was ruthless. L -l -l let me ask you this. Have you ever given Bill a gift? <laughs> well, if you have, you might have noticed something interesting happen. You gave Bill a present, and what was his response? To give you another gift. Or maybe he even gave you money for it. He paid you for it. Why would he do something like that? He gives you gifts all the time, and you just wanted to reciprocate his kindness. But Bill doesn't want reciprocation. At least not yet. He doesn't want you thinking that you've paid him back for all the free stuff. Oh no no. And why not? Because those gifts are not actually sweet little presents, you cute little muffin you. They're loans. That's right. With each passing gift, you become more and more indebted to Bill. In a world of turnip stonks and home loans, it only makes sense that Nintendo would provide you with the most capitalist thing of all. A predatory lender. I mean, it's so obvious it hurts. They practically spell it out for us. His name is Bill! You know, those things you have to pay every month. Hello, I am calling regarding a telephone account, our latest telephone account. We have paid the account. Yes, and the call to Great Town on the 5th of May. No such call ever took place. 
pause real quick. What is predatory lending? What is a predatory lender? Well, according to Investopedia... Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> oh beautiful! Predatory lending is any unscrupulous action carried out by a lender to entice... Whoa, whoa, whoa! You wanna buy a sundial? Or assist... Help me! A borrower in taking a loan they'll never be able to pay back. And this is where it all unravels and the dark truth leaks out. You have an island, for goodness sakes! Do you really think you were just given an island to hang on to in perpetuity? Of course not! When have you ever heard of someone just getting land? Never! There's always a loan! There's a mortgage! There are... bills. We were scared this of this. home is owned by the bank. Well, by that logic, I'm in debt and Bill hasn't foreclosed on me, you might say. Well, of course he hasn't. You haven't completed the work yet. What's the point in seizing your land if it's still poopy? I... hate this place. This... zoo. This prison. This... reality, whatever you want to call it. I can't stand it any longer. It's the smell. My advice? Get out of there. Get away from your crap island. It just won't be worth the heartbreak when Bill betrays you. You know what you did? I know what you did! My advice? 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 Get out of here.